Here comes the pitch, and there goes the line drive to left field. Swan is after it. He leaps it over his head against the wall. Here comes Jimmy and Stoney. Open win. Jackie Robinson is being pummeled by his teammates. On April 15, 1947, he broke the baseball color line when he debuted with the Brooklyn Dodgers, ending 60 years of racial segregation in professional baseball. Perhaps his most substantial accomplishment, however, was initiating the Civil Rights Movement. Yes, Jackie Robinson was a great ball player, but more importantly, he was a strong, courageous, and fascinating human being. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Jack Roosevelt Robinson, named after former President Theodore Roosevelt, was born on January 31, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. He grew up in relative poverty and was often denied recreational opportunities. Robinson's passion for humanity and equal rights were present early on in his lifetime. At 19, police at Pasadena Junior College, where he attended school, arrested Robinson for vocally protesting the detention of a black friend. He graduated from PJC in 1939 and transferred to UCLA. Jackie Robinson became the school's first athlete to win varsity letters in four sports, including baseball, basketball, football, and track. And when the broken heart people in 1942, he was drafted to a segregated Army Cavalry unit in Fort Riley, Kansas. One day during his service, Robinson boarded an Army bus that was part of an, a non-segregated bus line. The driver, however, ordered him to move to the back of the bus. Jackie refused and the driver backed down, but at the end of the line, he was taken into custody by military police. At a court martial in, in August of 1944, Robinson was found not guilty by a panel of nine white officers. He received an honorable discharge from the Army in November of that year. After his discharge, Jackie Robinson pushed and fought his way up through the Negro Leagues, Minor Leagues, and then to his Major League debut with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. Any baseball card can tell you about his impressive career in the Majors, his batting average, total home runs, RBIs, and so on. But no baseball card can explain the extent to which both his on- and off-field accomplishments affected the African-American community. In a letter to President Eisenhower on May 13, 1958, Robinson wrote, I respectfully remind you, sir, that we have been the most patient of all people. Seventeen million Negroes cannot do as you suggest and wait for the hearts of men to change. We want to enjoy now the rights that we feel we are entitled to as Americans. This we cannot do unless we pursue aggressively goals which all other Americans achieved over 150 years ago. Major League Baseball was the first of many firsts for Jackie Robinson. In 1962, he became the first African American inducted into the Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame. He was the first black person to serve as a vice president of a major American corporation. Robinson chaired the NAACP's Million Dollar Freedom Fund Drive in addition to serving on the board. He helped establish the Freedom National Bank, an African American owned and operated commercial bank based in Harlem. In 1970, he established the Jackie Robinson Construction Company to build housing for low-income families. Martin Luther King Jr. once said of Jackie Robinson that he was a legend and symbol in his own time, and that he challenged the dark skies of intolerance and frustration. Historian Doris Kearns Goodwin explains that his efforts were a monumental step in the civil rights revolution in America. His accomplishments allowed black and white Americans to be more respectful and open to one another, and more appreciative of everyone's abilities. Today, Jackie Robinson's name is honored both inside and outside of baseball. On April 15, 1997, the MLB retired his jersey number 42. The date of April 15th is recognized as Jackie Robinson Day, on which players are invited to wear the number 42 in his honor. The New York public school system named a middle school after him, and his home in Brooklyn, the Jackie Robinson House, is recognized as a National Historic Site. 
Throughout his entire life, Jackie Robinson sought nothing more than to be respected for being himself. In his own words, I'm not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. Oh, 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 o